Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to Vlogmas day number five. So you guys, we have a grocery haul and then we're gonna do some cooking. So let me share with you what I shopped for at Food Lion. This is my haul, Food Lion. Everything you see here was $115. There was no really good sales at any grocery store this week. Food Lion was just closest to my house. And so that's how I decided to shop there. So here it is, we got applesauce for Jackson. That was $218. Grapes were $1.49 a pound, so I just picked up those up. Um, strawberries, $2.99. We picked up like um, a bigger one at Walmart the other day. They were $10 for like this size, right? So I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. $2.99. Today I picked up two. Your uh, Food Line grape tomatoes were two for five, so I picked up three of those. I want to dehydrate a couple of those. We just like them better that way. This um, Silver Spring Farms, this beef. 24 ounces was $7.49. I picked up two of those. Alana picked up the trash bags. I'm not sure how much they were, but we needed trash bags. $7.49. Ooh, bless God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This uh, Green Giant Rice Cauliflower, the Risotto Medley, that was two for $5. I picked that up. This um, Level Valley Cream Cheese, they didn't have any other cream cheese was $1.50. Food Lion Sweet Cream Butter was $4.49. Cucumbers, I picked up two, one for me and Jack, both for me and Jackson. They were 99 cents each. This Ham and Turkey Sub Kit was $7.99. Bananas, I think were like 37 to 57 cents, I can't remember. Keto Bread is just out of control with price. Buns and rolls, $6.99 each. Um, I got some Red Hots, $2.79. And then two things of the New York Extra Sharp Cheddar Sliced Cheese, two for five. This is a fully cooked bone-in hickory smoked butt portion ham. It was $1.09 per pound, so $8.82. They had some for $0.99 cents a pound, but they were out of those. This was only $1.09, so just one, 10 cents more. Um, we're going to have this for Christmas, so I'm going to keep this back for Christmas. Instead of a breakfast, we are going to have a brunch. Our guests will not be arriving until around 10 o'clock, so 10.30. So I don't want to be um, cooking food and having it be cold. So I will start cooking around 10 o'clock-ish so that we are ready to eat by noon. Uh, Parmesan and Romano cheese, that is going to be... That was 308. That's for some wings we're doing tonight, keto wings. Jackson asked for peanut butter. That was 359. This uh, zero sugar chocolate caramel coffee mate was 379. Pink Lady apples were 329. And then two things of sharp cheddar cheese were two for four dollars. So that is what we were able to get at Food Lion this week for our groceries. That was 115. $115.47. Alrighty then. So I had a company reach out to me and they asked me if I wanted to try this uh, Redmond waffle maker. And I said, sure. Now, you know, I have the little mini dash, right? That's what I use to make keto truffles. But of course, for Christmas, we always, always, always do uh, Christmas for breakfast. And so I thought, you know what? This would make four waffles at the same time. I actually printed out a recipe for homemade waffles. So no box mix. Okay, Shakima, do it from scratch, sis. Now, I don't plan to eat this at all because I just, for some reason, don't eat regular waffles anymore. I haven't. I've eaten keto waffles or chaffles, but I'm going to try this for my kids, right? I'm not, I don't force my kids to be keto on Christmas or any holiday. Um... They pretty much eat what they want that's in the house and uh but our guests would enjoy this so we're going to give this a try to see how the waffle maker works before the holiday right we don't want to be trying it new on the day of so i'm going to pull this out of the box grab my recipe and we're going to jump right in so my kids will be able to have waffles tonight chicken and waffles actually because we are going to do wings so chicken and waffles for dinner and we're gonna see how this all shakes out. Yeah, that one, yes, 
sensor. Mm -hmm. That one just until she makes a sensor. Sends what? Yeah. So y'all have to be a little careful with it. You may have to make some rice. Did we turn the oven off? Or, oh, the chicken is in. Yeah. May I have a wet wash towel to wipe this down, please? Okay. Y'all don't see no, anything. Right There's crumbs all over my counter, and nobody sees crumbs but me. Why is that? Do I have some crumb meat or something? Come on, there wasn't even anything there. What's in my hand? Crumbs. Crumbs. But there was no food there. It doesn't matter. It's crumbs from whenever y'all don't choose to wipe off the counter. Crumbs just stay there. Look, look at this. What is this? Flour. That's what the scraper is for. I mean, you you add it. I'm using that. Here. We do that kind of wet wash towel. Right there. Can I have a clean one? Throw that away. In the what's your name? In the what um look, more crumbs. More crumbs. I find more crumb crumbs. Oh my god. If y'all don't get my stuff together, and that means 100% together, y'all gonna have problems. Look, run your hand across every counter surface. Run your hand across the surface. Don't run anything else across it but your hand. And when you do that, I want you to determine if there is stuff on it. There is stuff on it. But I thought I wiped it off. Yeah, well. Clearly. Clearly. Every single surface. There's two scrapers and two kids. Why? Wow. There's nothing being done. Right, y'all so i've got the waffle maker on right it's a redmond waffle maker it's a pretty good size because it does four waffles at a time which i do like um one thing that i like for sure it has a handle on it so it's portable right i can pick it up and carry it and i won't i shouldn't get burned now definitely let it cool down before you start taking it anywhere we've got um sun-dried tomatoes going in the dehydrator um, so right now I've just turned it on. We wiped it out. Just turned it on. It's on red. So it's had a red, warm, green, ready. And I'm getting ready to make up some uh, waffle batter. Jackson, your phone turned off, babe, and I need it. Is this all purpose? It is. Or is it self rise? It's all purpose. Okay. I think Can you go wash that? Can you go wash that, please? What's what? what is it? Just the piece of paper. Go wash that, please. Jackson. Over top. Oh, Lord. And you got too many cooks. Lord have mercy. They think they know what they're doing. Your phone is off again. All right, so I found a recipe from All Recipes for Waffle Mix, which is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to eat these, but for the kids. And if we have any extras, we'll just put them in the fridge. They can have them. So it calls for two cups of all-purpose flour.
What else do I need? Now Jackson does a Jackson does a lot of baking, so he goes through a lot of flour. So what we're gonna do is uh, definitely get this refilled. How many eggs? Two eggs. Okay. Let's stir that if we get a minute. Two flour, two eggs. And again, this came from all recipes. What else? How much milk? One and three fourths cup. One and three fourths cup. It's just to melt the um, cream cheese. If it's ready, you can cut it down. Okay. What else? A half a cup of vegetable oil. Okay. We need to refill that. What? There's a black bag of flour we got from Miss Johnson the other day. Teaspoons, bacon powder. Do we want cinnamon? It's up to you. I'm not going to eat it, so. some of these things up that we are done with and do we have any more um spray oil anything else you want in this so okay i'm out of salt we're gonna need to put some more in here half teaspoon of vanilla is what the recipe says vanilla got it I will put some blueberries in there. Do you want any? We don't have any? Oh, sorry. And vanilla. Okay. You never have enough. So we're going to give this a stir together. Now my um, waffle maker is coming along here. Normally I whisk, but I had um, already was using a bowl to do a reel. I made a cookie cake and uh, that turned out pretty decent.
You like it. I love it. This is a great new way of filming. Great new way. Will it let me film? Uh, actually, I don't like it. Oh, okay. Hey, you're offering the film? Why do they treat me so dirty? Nobody offered to wipe off these counters. Okay, this needs to go. Oh, that's the your water new bottle one. needs to go. It's your new one. Oh, the new one. Where's the old one? I'm not sure what has one. Okay. So I'm just gonna mix this up. There's a water bottle on the table that's been sitting there for three days. Mom, this is yours. But is anything in it? Becomes the question. Oh, blessed be the name. Who is Jesus, the Holy One of Israel? Batter's a little bit looser than I would like, but hey, it'll firm up in the waffle maker. I'm trying to get all the lumps out. No, you need some lumps in there. Leave them. I'm not leaving the lumps. What are lumps for? So, your food is. I don't know why I need the lumps in there, but Look Chef said we need the lumps. And I don't think Chef can cook, so. And now we got that on the floor. And flour on the counter, which nobody has wiped off. Making batter, I'm, leave the lumps. I'm not I'm leaving no lumps. lumps. That ain't yeah. what my grandma was what telling me. The ones that ain't gonna be in there. Look. It is not over mixing. I've been cooking all my life, and you talk about over mixing. You over on my nerve. He take one culinary class and think he doing something, sir. Go on about your business. Oh, about your business. Alana. Okay, I'm trying to wipe off my stove yet again. That um tea kettle can be washed and put underneath that should be turned off. No, the um wipe this down with this. All right, okay, Lord bless. So I'm waiting for my green indicator light to come on. There's two lights, there's a red one and a green. So it was on a second ago, and now uh, I'm waiting for it. This loud one here. Waiting for it to come back on again. Okay, it's 5.55, I have an hour and a half of eating window left my eating window will close at 7 30. i went from i started 11 30 because of my break time today so um the other thing that i like about this is it locks right so you have to push this button release button so that it opens which is good because sometimes people will just grab it and jerk it and it'll just um you don't want anybody to get burned so i do like that locking feature and we're just gonna lightly spray. Now this does four waffles at a time, which is really super helpful. And if we wanna be able to make sure that we can do big batches uh, plentifully in the shortest amount of time, I think that is extra great. Okay, so I'm gonna put enough in here and some in here. If it spills over, it's perfectly fine. because we want to put enough to fill it, enough to fill. You may have to double this recipe. And of course it will uh, even out when we put the top on it. But I do want to let it get some of, a, some of the bubbles to start bubbling. And I don't want to overfill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. 
those days. Can we wipe down anything while we're working? So what I'm trying to teach my kids is while we're waiting for stuff to either for the oven to heat or, you know, for something to be ready, clean as you go, do something else instead of standing around looking at me. Give me that box right there. Boy, bye. If you don't get, look at this boy. I just want to show the subscribers. Do you want to show the subscribers what? I'm almost as tall as me. You can be, you can be as tall as me. You can be taller. It's not going to change your You're situation. Sure. Your situation is if you roll up on me crazy. That's all I got to say about uh, that. Mother. I'm not going to fit. Jesus. Who overfilled it? That would be me. It's okay. We're going to leave it the way it is now. That was mom. I overfilled it. I knew I was running a risk. It's okay. I'll just clean it up. Can I have some, may I have some paper towel? What? Would that be helpful? It would be very helpful. Dry. Yeah. I need some goblins too. Who is going Yes, I'm going to actually just scrape when it dries, when it kind of cooks itself. I scrape that off. But it's no problem. It is just a lesson learned. It spilled out of the front. It didn't spill out the back, which is helpful. So just out the front. And next time what I will do, put some parchment paper underneath of it. Right now, and that'll catch any spills. That'll be a good uh, way to catch spills. All right, y'all. So we finished up in the kitchen. Well, I finished my part. The kids still have stuff to do in there. But um, we made 12 waffles. And they're really, really good size waffles. Um, they're not like the mini waffles at all. And I like that doing it four at a time because if you are doing batch cooking, right? Because I was even thinking I can make keto waffle mix and batch it. And I found a recipe. One of my things about staying keto and even doing the intermittent fasting, like my window for eating closes in 29 minutes. I ate lunch, like a decent lunch. And I'm always like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. If I don't think about it for a while, or if I get busy doing other stuff, then I'm not necessarily stressing out over food. And then I realize, you know, I could probably pretty much do without food because the kids brought me something and I ate a pe I ate a chicken wing and a little bit of risotto, but I didn't really eat a lot. So the odds of me finishing that before 7.30, probably not going to happen. But I was, you know, I'm always glad to eat when I'm able. And uh, I just think that Waffle Maker makes it so much easier. Now, we did overflow. I overflowed it the first time. Didn't overflow it again. But I wanted to get even size uh, waffles, right? So that just takes w working with the machine. But it was very easy to use. Portable. I like the locking uh, feature on the front lid. Because even Jackson tried to open it and he couldn't get it open. You know, just by... Um, Oh, you know, opening up the lid, which works out real good. Because sometimes you'll have a waffle maker. I've had plenty of waffle makers that the lid doesn't close and you can snatch it open and you just make a mess. So that worked out well. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box if anybody's interested in it. Go and check it out. Probably would make a great Christmas gift. Um, but there'll be a link down. So I went to my P.O. box today and I had some stuff in there. Y'all! I was so surprised and so blessed. Okay, let me see if I can pull this up here. All I can say is I got in my car and it smelled like an orange creamsicle. And I'm not a big orange creamsicle person, but that smell was very heavenly. So this is from um this is from Miss Stacy. Thank you so much. Oh my God, there were so many good things in here. And I'll tell you why. So the first thing that I saw were these um, uh, set of six measuring spoons. I cannot find almost half of my measuring spoons. And I know I had at least three or four different sets. Cannot find them. And these are a really nice, heavy measuring spoon set right it's not like the flimsy ones that you get from the 99 cent place or whatever these are food network grade stainless steel dishwasher safe now the reason some of these things are important to replace and i've got a i've got a list of things i need to go replace is because jackson's in culinary class 
Jackson, um, let me move this pillow that's bothering me, uh, comes home every day and he's trying to make some recipe. So between Jackson cooking and mom cooking, cause sister has decided she ain't cooking. She does the dishes <laughs> and it's perfect. Um, we, we lose stuff, right? So we don't know if it gets tossed in the trash or what have you, but we lose things. And so it was just a blessing to open this and see this, and I'm, it's very significant in uh, weight, which is so awesome. I think it, it looks like it came from Kohl's, which was awesome. Thank you so much for that. Then, um, I don't know how, and I have a ton of books, uh, you know, writing uh, tablets and different things. But this is so timely. This is a, um, a journal. It says, not by my strength, but his, Zechariah 4.6. And we just started um, Fervent, which is my uh, study from Priscilla Shire for my Titus II women. And every time you open a page, there's a different scripture at the top. And so this is about writing down your prayers. And so uh, this is going to be helpful. I pulled another one, but I had had some other stuff written in it. So this is going to be perfect. I'm going to put this with that book and just uh, use that for that class. She sent me a really sweet card. I love the red trucks. Y'all, this is the first year I have not been pressed to decorate and I need to get stuff done. I have not. At this point in my life, I'm really trying to determine if I want to decorate or not. I'm going to think about it for a day or two more and see the only day I'm really going to have to do anything is Saturday because my, my days have just, they, they go so quickly. But, um... She said she first started watching my channel around the pandemic, and she's been watching ever since. And I'm so thankful. Um, these are so awesome. Oh, these are doggy toys. Look it. I kept wondering, like, that's a cute little gingerbread man, but I don't think I have ginger. I was trying to figure out where I could sit it in my house. <laughs> They're puppy toys. <laughs> we have a gingerbread man and an elf. Uh-oh, here comes somebody. Acro's a toy boy. He loves toys. Come, come. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one's your favorite? What, what? That one? Okay. Hey, Mama, you want this one? Jack Acro took the um, gingerbread boy. You want this one, Mama? Or two, both of them. Mama's not a toy. She loves uh, treats and snacks, but she does not love toys. But oh, Acro took the elf and he left the gingerbread boy. But we're going to put this up on our mantle. We always keep our Christmas cards. Thank you so much for sending us a Christmas card. I didn't do card exchange this year. I didn't do anything because there's so many things just happening around me that I have had to get done and just no time to do them. So that was, that was beautiful. The next thing she sent me were these um, cute little Merry Christmas. Uh, they look like ice cream cone tubs. And I opened them. And guess what is inside? Trail mix. Look at that. To throw in my bag. Keto chocolate trail mix. Look at that. To throw in my bag. They have six grams of carbs. Net grams. Six net grams of carbs. But I can throw these in my bag back and they look like they came from Walmart because sometimes I need a quick snack awesome and both of these ones are filled with the trail mix so isn't that awesome that was perfect then she said look at this donut shop decaf because I do drink decaf because of the blood pressure right? I'm trying to keep my blood pressure low um And this is awesome. I think I'm going to start catching my coffee grounds to put out in my uh, garden beds. But we have to rework those garden beds because I want to just be able to get maneuver around them a little bit better. So um, we're going to work those, re rework those garden beds. But I'm going to start putting the coffee grounds in my soil. I was watching uh, Homestead Heart. And they were talking about beefing up your soil because we did have some soil issues this past year with the blossom end rot. And I don't want to have that for next year. And then the last thing, y'all, when I got in my car, oh my word, I was like, when I opened it, it smelled amazing. 
this is the beauty of people who just um, bless your life. And I opened this box. Let me put this one down. And I opened this box and inside of this one was all of these wonderful um, wax melts. Look at these. This is Vanilla Cookie Crunch. That's a wax melt, the Better Homes and Gardens brand. Um, banana Pumpkin Bread. How about that? Look at that. But the best one, I know it's what I'm smelling. Ooh, brownie pecan pie, all the fun scents of the fall. And the one that I know that I'm smelling, I mean, you can smell it through the plastic, is this, um, no, and you over here sniffing, here comes Barbara, is this um, orange buttercream and cupcake. This right here, this right here is, is giving life. I mean, it's giving, it is giving what it was supposed to give. I mean, this right here is giving what it was supposed to give. Now I have to find my wax melt. I think we put it in the garage. I gotta find my, my warmer, my wax warmer. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I gotta find, I'm gonna find a hack for melting these if you don't have a warmer because i know you can do it some type of way i'm gonna figure that part out because i don't know where my warmer is right now but i'm gonna figure out but i am so very blessed and these are the big ones this is orange zest vanilla and buttercream scent notes this has two four six twelve twelve squares life and more life and abundant life i'm here for it right So that was awesome. I do want to thank Miss Stacy for sending that out to us. Um, the kids and I will enjoy these. Actually, I have six more days of school and then we're out for the holiday, right? So we are going to do a few more things in the house as far as holidaying it up. I just have not had chance to do anything right yet because I've been working so hard. I've been doing a lot of stuff and it's just been stressing me out. Um, and I just haven't really had a chance, but I'm going to make time. Tomorrow night, I'm helping a friend out, so I don't have time to do anything tomorrow night, and it is already after 7, 7.15 right now, so I really just don't have time to do anything tonight, but Saturday, I have a meeting in the morning. Uh, Jackson asked me to take him Christmas shopping, so I'm going to do that before sister gets off work, so we just, I'll do my meeting, take him, pick up sister, and come back home which will probably be the best um, course of action for us. So that's going to be amazing. But anyway, I wanted to just share that grocery haul, share a little bit of cook with us, try out, uh, you know, go over and, and check out that Redmond Waffle Maker. If you're interested, again, there'll be a link down in the description box. And thank you so much to all of my wonderful subscribers. From time to time, I have things come in. Um, and I try to make, I try to, uh, do an appreciation either on the video or on the community tab. And um, I just so appreciate it. People don't have to remember you. People don't have to think of you. People don't have to send you anything. And again, remember I said that has that's never been the goal of this channel is, oh, how much stuff? I wonder how much stuff can I get, you know, from people. I just came out here to do what the Lord told me to do, which was to share with people, hey, if I can do it for her, I can do it for you. And that's what we've been doing for the last eight years. And over that time, people have just really blessed us with different things. Sometimes it's just been a letter in the mail. Hey, Shakima, you walked me through this time in my life or I was watching your video and it helped me set up my sinking funds. I mean, any little thing just is amazing that people would think of you. So I do want to say thank you again so much. If you've sent something, if your heart was there and you didn't have it, thank you for thinking of us because I think people really don't understand in, in these 2022 streets, we are very much me, my, and mine. I'm worrying about me. I'm worrying about mine. I'm worrying about my kids, my house, my stuff, and people don't really always think about other people. So if to me, 
if you took time out of your day, out of your week, out of your month, out of your hour to think about me, I crossed your mind and the Lord would have you to say a prayer. I got um, something from my friend uh, in Concord. She sent me an email yesterday and that thing just really blessed my spirit. I mean, it really blessed my spirit. She said, Shakeem, I've been meaning to send this word to you for a while. And in what she sent is, is for me. It is for it is for this season. I've been praying and asking the Lord very strongly. It's for me. And she sent it was so on time. And I just so appreciate it. It's not even things, right? Don't get caught up in that. It's not the things. It is the thought behind whatever, right? But I will share this. Let me share this one little bit before I go. And here I am preaching. That's what preachers do. Don't give a preacher a microphone or a platform because we're going to preach. Preachers going to preach, okay? The Lord spoke to me in, in November, in November. Now we're right up at Christmas. We're trying to get things situated and settled. And I'm a little frustrated because the money not looking right. I mean, it, it ended up working out right. My math just wasn't mathing, but I got it together. Trying to make sure I had enough for my kids and then some other gifts that I need to do, like what we normally do. And I was like, why is this math not mathing? I mean, some ain't right. Anyway, this is just my math was off, but it worked out. But in November, the Lord said to me, this is a sowing season. And I was like, okay, God, now I'm at the point with the Lord where I don't have time to play with God, right? I don't have time for that. When God tells me a thing, I try to immediately be obedient. I try. I try my hardest. Some things are just a struggle. And so that is just something within me. It has nothing to do with him. That's my lack of trust, right? Paul, um, the centurion said, I believe, but help my unbelief. So God said, it's a season of sowing. And I didn't know how long that season was supposed to last. I didn't know who I was supposed to give to. I didn't know what. All I knew is I needed to take some things. I needed to take some resources. And a lot of times we hold on to what we have thinking this is all I'm ever going to get. So I can't share it with anybody. Again, I'm past that point with the Lord. Me and God have done this thing so long that I trust him. So he said, "Give it's a season of sowing. So I just begin to see where I could pull some resources. And stuff will come and this will come. And I'll begin to funnel it right back out. It will come in my hand so quick and I'll push it back out. Well, yesterday, I was on my way to work. And I was checking my Instagram. And remember how I told y'all that um, we we had gotten the, the nod on Facebook. And we, of course, have been doing our YouTube thing. And we still were waiting for Instagram. You know, I was waiting patiently. I was like, okay, well, God, if it's not for you, for me, for, okay, no worries. I'm, I'm doing this over here. Um, and, the, and the Lord opened up Instagram. Yesterday, we got the, the notification that we were uh, being selected for the bonus program. Now, let me say this. The bonus program, the max bonus I could get was $50. And somebody else would say, well, that's not enough to even do reels. I'm going to post the reels anyway. I'm, I'm going to post them. So if they want to give me a $50 bonus option, let me take that bonus. So I was like, God, are you just, is this just a test to see how my, how my um, reels will do? Who cares what it is? They opened it and we have been praying. My prayer years ago was for seven streams of income. I need income from here, 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 and here. I'm going to retire in five years. I retire in five years. I want to make sure that there is something coming in. So when I retire, if I don't want to go and work another job, or if I don't have to go and work another job, my kids and I are well. Makes sense? But when God says to do something, you got to be obedient and you got to trust him enough to know that he's going to take care of you. I do not question the Lord, period. Even in my, even in my prayer for a spouse, where is he, God? Why is he not here yet, God? Is it for me? Whatever the Lord says. Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added. So we just keep seeking God. We keep doing the ministry. We keep encouraging. We keep edifying. We keep uplifting. We keep trusting. We keep believing. We keep praying. We keep speaking. We keep declaring that my husband is on the way. And that's what we do because we trust God in that capacity. 
And I pray and speak over each and every one of you lovelies that are listening, that you would trust God in that capacity, that whatever he says to do, do it. So when I receive things like this, I'm prayerful that the Lord would not just return to you, but 30, 60, and 100 fold what you gave out to us. Because you didn't have to. And we appreciate that. And know that when stuff comes here, we are finding people. We are looking. Our eyes are like, okay, who God, when God, where God. And if he says move, we do it. When he says, not if. Because he always, he, he's like, okay, I'm going to see if you meant that thing. We mean it around here. He says this and we go. And he has been very faithful. There's not been one meal we've missed. There's not been one thing that my kids have needed that, um, that um, they have not gotten. I'll, I'll tell you this very quickly. Um, my uh, ex-husband sent gift for the gifts for the kids. They're slowly coming in. Well, a box came yesterday and it was a very big box. And I was like, oh my God, we got the same gift. Oh my God. Okay. So I didn't panic. I almost told the kids, let me, you know, call your dad back. I need to talk to him. I'm like, you got your own phone. You can call him. So today when I was uh, on a break, I texted him. I said, hey, I just want to make sure that we didn't get the same thing. Your box looks almost as big as the box that I got. So let's chat. You know, hey, this is what I, I didn't even ask him. What did you get? Because that's accusatory. I just said, hey, this is what I purchased. And he said, oh, no worries. This is what I purchased. And, and what he purchased and what I purchased, didn't even talk to each other about it. We don't, we don't have conversations about things. Are, the, are complimentary items to each other and they will be received very well. That's how the Lord will connect you with people in the spirit, right? We didn't talk about it. We just knew some certain things about this individual and we... I did my thing, he did his thing, and when we chatted, it was a complimentary thing to each other. And that thing just uh, blessed my spirit, right? God is this, he's so good. He's so good. How do, What does that have to do with the gifts and the giving? And it just has to do with hearing the Lord, right? It just, that's, that's all I'm saying. Anywho, I've chatted enough. We're going to chime out now. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Redmond's Waffle Maker. If you are interested, there'll be something down in the description box. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.